Today we are going to learn about filters and their uses. Mostly we'll focus on uh, rule builder. So I'm going to one of my channel over here and I'll go to destination. We have one destination and I'll be clicking on edit filter. So I have always added uh, one sample message template. So the message tree has been already generated. I'll click on add new rule and I'll go with the rule builder first. So the good thing uh, as we already added a template, we can drag and drop things over here. I'll just click on MSH 3.1 and I'll just drag it over here. So we can play around here uh, for a while understanding how things work so I gave the condition as exist so this means the message should contain MSH 3.1 value so the message will cross through the destination let's do one thing we'll validate uh, this rule validation is successful you don't need to validate every time and I'll deploy this channel perfect so the thing is like we have already some things added out and everything you can do for the best of practice there's an option remove all messages you can check mark include selected click yes R E M O V E A L L. perfect everything has been removed and the good thing I have done is like I have already the inbound and outbound over here so in the outbound I'll delete this message so this is the interface explorer if you don't know about it I just created for practice purpose but we can check everything over here yes so what I'll do I'll click on here and click on send message I have already a sample message over here which I copied explaining each and every field what is sending application sending facility and everything I'll just copy it and paste in my mirth engine so uh, as we have a filter on MSH3, you can see uh, there is already MSH3 containing over here. So what I'll do, I'll just process this. And we'll refresh. You can see uh, one item is received in the source and it is received to destination and it is received to yep destination in the send process. So it should be present in our interface explorer 2 over here. Perfect. We have our MSH3 over here as sending application. What we'll do, we'll edit this and we'll send again and it should get filtered out. So I'll just copy the same uh, one over here. I'll go to Mirth. I'll send messages. I'll just copy it and remove the sending application. So MSS3 is empty and it should get filtered out as per our understanding. I'll just click over it and I'll refresh perfect this has been received by the source and it went through to the destination as we have the filter in the destination it has been filtered out over here so this is the first message which went through so when we sent two one passed and one got filtered out this is how uh, filters work on a basic uh, concept for the rule builder you can even try multiple things over here I'll go to the same destination and I'll go to the filter and we'll try something like not exist if it not exists it should go through okay this is if accept messages if MSS 3.1 to string does not exist even the JavaScript is generated in parallel in the background you don't need to edit it manually for the rule builder it does by itself so let's test it the previous message which we have sent has filtered out but what we can do we can try resending once again that would be a good idea right perfect then I'll go back I'll say changes and always remember to deploy the channel the changes will reflect so what I'll do uh, for our understanding I'll send the filtered out message okay this was filtered right perfect I'll just click on here and reprocess result I'll just uh, reprocess this message particular message because this was filtered out so you can you can manually send from the dashboard but you can directly do it from here and I'll send reprocess perfect it's going to destination one and I'll click OK let's go to dashboard see uh, the message which we have sent has been received by the destination that's that's good right so the recent message which we have sent has not been filtered out it has passed through and sent so you, you can even check the stats over here 
this was filtered out and I reprocessed it so this was transformed and sent transformed the status is transformed because it, it generally uh, shows because it's passing through the uh, uh, destination channel but uh, actually we haven't kept any transformation here in future we'll be using the transformation so perfect I think one of our second changes also worked and I'll go back here and we'll test multiple things in this particular filter to make sure we are working on everything perfect equals so this is something like if msh dot this particular string equals to the value then it should cross through we will even look into it so we'll be uh, working on another rule so I'm going to add a new rule and I want to choose an option equal so this was MSS 3.1 and I want to add MSH 4.1 so I just dragged it over here and I'm selecting equal so this is very important over here so you need to make sure whenever you are giving any variable that should be in double quotes so for example for the time being I'll give something like Apple so MSH 4 should be Apple that's uh, when the message will be passed or else it will not be passed so you have already and option here so it should satisfy both of the conditions or else it will get errored out I'll go back and I'll save the changes and I'll deploy it so even I cleared out all the message for the reference purpose I'll just copy sample message I'll just click on here send the message and paste it over here so to make sure uh, you will understand things better I'm just uh, removing this MSH4 from Apple and I'll send it once it should get errored out it received it it got filtered out because uh, it doesn't satisfy the condition it should be Apple so what I'll do I'll just send the message once again with the name Apple over here this is Apple you can see it over here and now it should pass as per our condition and I'll just refresh that's it we have one message received so that's how the filter of uh, this particular uh, thing works when we give equals over here now we can learn about not equal which is nothing but quite opposite to the equals it should not be equal to any particular given variable so the good thing about over here is like mirth has given us a lot of options not about just exist exist is nothing but it should have that particular value not exist is nothing but it shouldn't have that any particular variable which you are giving equals mean it should be exactly equal even small uh, change in the variable will not be accepted some similarly not equal works contains what is contains contains is nothing but it should at least contain that particular value we can even uh, work on a small example on that so uh, what we'll do is like we'll add a third rule and we'll click on contains means this particular field should contain that value so I already used MSS 3 and 4 for reference with some funny variables even we'll try the same ones again MSH 5 I'll just drag it over here MSH 5 and it should contain this particular variables uh, which we have values which are given over here so you can give any particular value like I'll give ball cat whatever it is cat so this even works like a lookup table in Rhapsody or ensemble if you have been previously worked on integration engines so each and every uh, concept is uh, different but uh, the motto is same for all the integration engines so what we'll do yep uh, as we gave ball cat and dog and it should even uh, satisfy this particular value we'll go back we'll okay we should actually check if this has been saved or not okay okay this has been added over here we can see contains go back and deploy it perfect and what we'll do we'll send a message which contains 
which does not contains anything like ball cat or dog so it is something known as a receiving application over here so this should get filtered out means the filtered one here should become two when we send this message means this is the second filtered out message so we'll go ahead and process this message and refresh oh this has been passed through we need to look into it why this has crossed it so I saved it once again and deployed it as the file was not working so we will go back uh, to the dashboard and we'll try to send things so here we can see the count uh, received is 11 and filtered is 5 and sent is 6 so as per our filters we'll send the message and we'll go ahead and check if this is filtering like passing it or not as we gave uh, something like okay yeah receiving facility yeah we it's MSH 5 over here and I'm giving something like ball as we said it should contain ball in it and it should pass through so it's 11 and 6 over here just look and we'll see what's happening yeah it went through and we will give one of the item which doesn't contain in our filter I'll just keep it and I'll give something like it's not eagle but yeah I'll give something like 80 80 80 some random thing so it should get filtered out as our uh, variable or like uh, the thing which we have created it's not in the filter so I'll just process it and it's 5 over here it should become 6 it got filtered out it was working perfectly now we'll look into other options in the filter we'll go to the channels we'll go to this particular channel destinations and edit filter and we have something known as not contain we can even add another rule for it and we can drag so depending upon the requirements there will be a lot of uh, changes in different segments and everything to make it very easy and simple I'm on always uh, pulling out uh, a sample field which is easy to understand for you people so don't uh, think like why we are only taking MSH values you can take bit 5 and a lot of values over there to make it very simple and easy I am just using MSH 6 over here again so in future you are going to learn a lot about uh, filters for sure so this is just about a rule builder and we have a lot of things to learn not contain so you should tell or you should imagine like what is not contain so whatever the values over here it should not contain in the message if it is there it will get filtered out it exactly the reverse of the contains people will get confused so I'll again give something like training okay T R E I N I N G perfect and I'll save it so what will happen our message should not contain training if it contains training it will get filtered out the MSH 6 value okay I'll go back I'll save it I'll deploy the channel I'll go here send message oh it just copy training so I'll be copying something like this and I'll paste it here so you can see from this particular thing what is MSH 6 it's nothing but receiving facility I'll change that value over here to training if it so yes it's the same facility over here so I'm keeping it as training it should get filtered out let's see how it works so it's completely opposite of contains and I said when it does not contain training it should get uh, filtered out give me a second even I am getting confused with this <laughs> so uh, we are going to send it so as I have given training over here so if this word contains it should get filtered out I'll so you can see the count over here it's 7 and I'll process it and I'll refresh 
it is 8 means the it already looked to that particular value contains is matching over there and it got filtered out apart from contain apart from training if I give any other values it should send without any issues so I'll just try over here I'll just give one two three okay and I'll send so the sent should be 8 over here don't get confused with all the values over here just look to the destination received filtered and sent the sent should be 8 I'm just processing it it is 8 and if you want to look and give any any other value for example even it can be empty what I believe so I'm just removing the training from here and I'm just processing it it should get 8 so refresh so yeah it, it should get 9 and it got so that's how uh, the basic uh, filter works when you go to this particular rule builder so there are a lot of other things uh, which we are going to look over like uh, JavaScript and external script we'll be looking further into it so as of now I'm uh, closing this video as it become very lengthy and we'll learn more about other filters so thank you